welcome to your mini bi-weekly general love tarot reading for January 16th through the 31st, 2017. So what I'm getting here, um, you know, I'm getting a lot of water, not necessarily a water sign, but I feel like maybe there is a struggle uh, or pressure over some type of commitment that has to do with uh, either a relationship working out or perhaps a relationship not working out. Um, there also could be a lot of separation due to one of your mates having to work in another state or country. And so there is a um, separation, I feel, at the moment. So that's one way I'm looking at it. I also feel like for some of you Tauruses, you're at a crossroads regarding uh, relationships. And one uh, information that came in to me is, is, first of all, I feel like there's a relationship here, well, actually quite a few of them, that I feel like one of you wants it to work and the other doesn't. And I feel like there's a lot of pressure either from you or someone, you know, that you love or you've been trying to uh, either stay together with or uh, ask to come back. I feel like there's a lot of pressure here. And so um, my suggestion, the way I'm looking at the cards and feeling spirit here is maybe you just need to leave it alone right now. Okay. Uh, whether you walk or they walk or whether you stay or you stay, it doesn't matter. I think you just need to leave it alone because the energy here that I'm feeling at the moment is not favorable, which can cause a lot of arguments, conflicts, and even uh, miscommunication. So I just think that right now um, it's best to leave it alone. I do feel like there's some dreaming here. So this could be someone who did uh, walk out or you walked out of their life. It's one or the other, but I feel like there's some dreaming here of past memories of how this relationship was once very healthy and, and flowing. But right now there just seems to be all sorts of things going on. You know, I feel like some of you are bouncing from wall to wall here and we do have some aspects with Mercury did go direct, but it is still under the shadow right here at the beginning of around the 16th and we're also with T squares and cardinal crosses and those make those bring in a lot of tension. So that's why I'm saying just kind of breathe through this right now. Uh, unless you've already made the decision that you need to walk, then you know do what you feel is necessary, but try to hold peace in your heart as much as you can. Now, I am getting a lot of fire and air energy here. I feel like for some of you, you're going to kick off either a fire or air relationship. Uh, I feel like it's something new. Um, I, I tend to be drawn to uh, air because there's a lot of wands in this reading. Uh, and there's also a lot of swords, which is fire. And, you know, I'm getting a lot of communication. I feel like this relationship uh, takes off with a lot of a communication, a lot of moving around, maybe it's movies, maybe it's dinner, maybe it's weekend trips, whatever, but I feel like it has a lot of movement in it. You know, I'm feeling a lot of mercury in it. So it could be a Virgo, it could be, no, Virgo's actually Earth. It could be a Gemini relationship. Um, you know, it could be Aquarius, it could be, uh, you know, any air sign of the, of the three. I didn't mention the other one. Um, but, uh, I'm just going to keep moving on in the relationship because for some reason spirit's not giving me the move forward <laughs> to mention the other air sign. So I feel, um, you know, new relationships, uh, happening here. I also feel a lot of letting go and endings and, you know, if this is the time that it's calling for it, then it's just the time that it's calling for it. Now, let's see here. I uh, just want to take a look at some more cards here. So patience, because I'm feeling like there are some decisions. Uh, maybe you want to help have some uh, friends help you uh, with this decision. Here we go with the other air sign, the Libra. Uh, I, I feel like some of you, too, have some decisions to make in regards to legality or justice in a relationship. 
I feel like maybe some of you may actually have some uh, court hearings or just decisions to make whether you're going to stay in a relationship or you're not, you're gonna, if you're married, if you're going to divorce or if you're going to move, keep moving forward. Um, so that's, that's uh, one of the things I feel. And I also feel like it has, uh, one of the situations may have to do with money uh, in the relationship and materialistic things here. Cause you know, I'm getting the materialism card and the separation card. Um, but what's, you know, okay. So what I'm getting here, let me just kind of move that over there. I kind of put those there together. So they weren't making total sense. Even though some of you may be separating or there may be endings to relationships I'm not being negative. I'm just being truthful that sometimes these are just the facts of life. But I feel for some of you, you're moving forward into a new love, into a new relationship. And for some of you, I, I think you're hoping that, uh, maybe it's a fire sign too, that, that this love comes back to you. Like I feel like some of you are moving into new love with either fire or air sign. And I'm also getting that some of you are... Um, uh, hoping that this love of the past returns and, um, you know, it's been hard on you for some of you, it's been hard on you. Uh, but I feel like you just need to kind of leave things where they're at right now. Don't try to, um, put yourself squat in the middle of everything. Cause you're not going to see what you need to see and, and what that information that needs to come in to help you get out of this box or square. I feel some of you may be in. Let's take a look at what the angels have to say about this or just in general. What is the messages for Taurus? What are the messages? What are they? You know, somebody's relationship is coming here. I feel like you're really in a hot relationship with someone. You may have actually been married or living with someone, but the emotions, the, the love and care, etc., just wasn't there. And you're just questioning whether you should just move forward this relationship, but you feel like your partner just isn't wanting to move any further than where it's at. Well, if it just can't move any further where it's at right now, it's not meant to. Okay, and sometimes we like to push things because we want to feel secure, we want to feel secure that this person's going to be there for us. But I think if you keep pushing, you're going to push this relationship right out the door. So why don't you just love it and accept it for what it is right now and any decisions you need to make back home, make them for you, not for anybody else. Okay, that's the message from the universe to you. Okay, I don't know, I'm getting uh, Carolyn. There's a Carolyn here. Carolyn in the Taurus group, or you're coming in to look at Taurus because it might be your moon and rising. What's the message spirit for Carolyn? Well, this Carolyn that I'm looking at has children, but she's not. In, you're not in a good relationship right now. Uh, I do believe that you want this relationship to uh, end. Uh, you were hoping that it would work out, but... Uh, it, it just isn't. It just doesn't seem to be moving in that direction. And so now you're wondering what's going to happen with your life. And Spirit says that you will heal in time. Okay. And uh, you will uh, seek child support and uh, other support from, from the your children's father or the guy that you may be married with or just living with, whatever. But uh, you will uh, receive that and um spirit is saying also to carolyn that there is a uh line of work or some dream that you've always wanted to do and that you're going to go back to school uh part-time uh you might even study this online and you're going to get some either certificate or degree uh whatever uh, that is going to land you eventually into that dream career that you want. Okay. Now, angels, what's the messages here? Okay. 
intention. So everybody, the intention, we know that that's important. Uh, I, I feel like the universe already knows before we ask anyways. Uh, the thing is here, um, I feel like for some of you, the intention should just be about love and peace and trust. Just leave it at that. Uh, maybe not uh, state the intention regarding a specific soulmate or job or whatever. Just that you intend love, peace, balance, harmony, and for things to move forward in a positive way. Okay, and then let your spirit and the spirit of the universe move together into the dreams you want to manifest. All right, that's what I get. I also too feel like for some of you Torians, you need to get out there and play. You need to lighten up here. Okay, the signs are showing you that they're um, <sighs> signs are showing that there are things that you need to release that you need just to let go of. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to hit the trash can with it, but it means that you need to just let go of the control of it. Okay, so it can move in the direction it's, it's meant to move. And uh, also trust and feeling trust here is so important to trust yourself and to trust higher source. Because I feel like some of you are just uh, maybe down, maybe sad or just confused, you know, feeling I don't know which direction to go sometimes. And, and I think that if you just trust you, just focus on the intention of trusting your spirit. Okay. Don't be afraid to ask yourself, ask yourself because you will have, your spirit will have the answer. Just don't listen to that garbage chitter chatter in your head. Okay. That's your ego blah, blah. Okay. We don't want that. We want your spirit to blah, blah. Uh, because your spirit knows the direction. It's already forecasted its life. Okay. But sometimes spirit gets lost because ego takes over. All right. So we want to just uh, let that go. And I do feel turns that the angels are looking after you. They know that you guys want love and romance. Okay. Let's move on into the general, uh, Reading, what are the messages for Taurus? 16th through the 31st. Taurus. The Empress, the Lovers, woohoo! Four of Air. Now, see, there comes that Air sign again. Mm hmm. And there's Fire. There's Leo. I'm getting Gemini and Leo here. Nine of Earth, Queen of Water, King of Fire, Woo. Ace of Earth. Wow, look at these cards. Okay, I'm going to pick them all up here and see what's going on now. Okay, so I've already discussed in the angel part of the reading that some of you need to focus now on your goals and not so much on the negative or the bad things that have been happening or the changes or the shifts or the letting go. Just start to focus now on what you want to put together, what you want to give birth to. Nurture yourself, love yourself, be you regardless, okay? The lovers here is, here's where I feel that, like I said, new relationships were starting with air uh, and, and fire also. And I feel like definitely there is a relationship taking off here uh, either uh, with the Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Uh, I know the lovers stand for Gemini, and uh, this also could be a Gemini looking in uh, as a Taurus moon or rising, or their lover. And um, this relationship, I feel, still needs decisions, but I feel like that that there's too much push here. There's just too much pushing. There need you need to relax, find the peace, find the center again. 
You know, just because we're in a relationship doesn't mean we have to get married tomorrow or live together tomorrow. We need to give space for the relationships to grow. If they lose that ability, they fall apart, okay? And we also need to understand soulmates, that even if we are with our soulmates, it doesn't mean that they don't have another mission or unfinished business just like we do, okay? They've got things to do. That's why they came here to earth. So sometimes we hold on too strong to soulmates and we don't give them enough room to breathe to uh, be on their life's journey on what they need to accomplish. So I just wanted to uh, let you know that. And then we've got the four of air. Okay, it looks like some of you may actually be vacationing uh, either with a Leo, uh, Sag, or um, uh, Leo, Sag. I, I, for some reason, I can't go beyond that. Leo, Sag. Okay, Aries, thank you. Uh, it, it could be, um, or you could meet someone on a adventure of some kind that will also be giving you... Um, a lot of inner strength, a lot of helping you awaken your inner power. This is, I like this relationship here. Now, the nine of earth here um, and the queen of water. So this is a water here. We've got water in here also. Um, and then also we've got uh, earth. I think that this here, there is either a Taurus is in love with the water sign uh, or it's the water sign that's in love with the Taurus, okay, or moon rising, okay, I think, feel like they're looking in, or you're looking for guidance in this relationship, you know, you want to trust this person, but at the same time, I feel like you're a bit eerie, like, maybe you're looking too much on looking over the actions too much. I know actions speak louder than words, but sometimes we can overanalyze, overlook the uh, actions here. Um, I, I'm also feeling like someone has some changes at work uh, or is uh, maybe changing positions came in here. Uh, maybe you're a little emotional or fearful about how well you'll do in that position, but I think that you will have abundance. I think you'll do well with it. Uh, this also could be for people who are interested in doing their own business. Uh, I, f I feel like that there um, is abundance in that too. I, you know, I just feel like a really good energy in regards to putting things forward, creative ideas, work, changing positions, shifting positions. Um, I'm just feeling like the energy's there. Now, I'm getting January 19th. I'm getting January 23rd and January 26th is high energy days for maybe shifting or focusing. Focus, focus, focus. I'm feeling that strongly for you, uh, Taurus, uh, moving forward. And um, I get that. Those dates that I just mentioned are dates that these could manifest or the energies there to put these ideas, the inspiration, the motivation together and move forward. If you'd like a personal reading, www.transformationandempowerment.com. Please remember to check your moon and rising. All I want to say, Taurus, is I love you and blessings.